I feel a thank you, Jesus, down in my soul. I feel a glory. Hallelujah. 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 Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Come on. Come on, give him glory. Yay, hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, oh yes. Glory. Glory to God. He's worthy to be praised. Worthy of the glory. Oh. Glory to his name. Oh, come on, let's praise him in the building. Oh, oh, Jesus. Glory to God. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise God for our great leaders one more time. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Glory to God. Yes, we praise God for each and every one of you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we give God praise for you. Reach over and just love on somebody. Tell them, good to see you and God bless you. Love you in the love of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. We thank the Lord for you today. We give God praise for you. We love you here in his image. God love you. Amen. And he has you on his mind. We praise God for you today. Let's give the Lord a praise that is due to his name. Amen. We do certainly thank God. Amen. You could be seated. Amen. If you can, we thank God for our leaders truly. We thank God for the spirit of the Lord that is among us. God is good and worthy to be praised all the time. He's good. I praise God for my wife and children today. Thank God for my son being here with us today. I give God the praise. And the glory is worthy to be praised. I thank God it is good for us to be here today. Amen. We certainly give God all the glory. I appreciate every one of you. Happy New Year to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that each and every one is feeling well today. We pray that the Lord will strengthen your body, give you what you need in your spirit as we go throughout the New Year. It's good to see Sister Rosa today in the house of God. It's a blessing to see her today. Amen. Lord has brought the blessing to see Sister Joanne among us and anyone that I've forgotten. Amen. Amongst the land of the living, we love you. God bless you. And uh, we just praise God for each and every one. Thank God for our visitors I haven't seen before. Amen. Anybody that's here that we haven't seen before, we praise God for you. We love you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our leaders have gone away, amen, to just get a brief break, and they've been having good service, so we're praising God for them, that the Lord would give them traveling mercies, amen, and a speedy return. As you know, our bishop is always ready to get home, amen, anywhere he go. He just loves being home, and that's a blessing when you love to come home, amen. Some people don't have the proper home atmosphere to even come back to. When they go, they don't look to come back, amen. So we, it's a blessing. So we thank God, amen, for him and First Lady. So we're just giving God all the praise. Just want to let you know uh, with the consecration, which is started today, uh, when we simply we're talking about consecrating, we're just talking about a level of fasting, not complete in total, but the time that we designate, what we do is we set aside that time for the Lord. And the word consecrate simply means to set apart for God's purpose. 
all right, to set apart for God's will. So we have selected the beginning of 2020 for a week of consecration, and we're setting aside the morning until 3 p.m. as a time where we refrain from eating so that we can dedicate that time to the Lord. And it's not so much about refraining from eating. You can do that ordinarily, but it's also about the spirit. Amen. And so during that time, during this week from today until next Sunday, we're going to be in uh, prayer. Not today. We're starting tomorrow. We'll be in prayer at 7 p.m. All right. Every night, every night we'll be in prayer till 7 p.m. So we're coming to believe God. So, you know, at 3 p.m., your flesh is going to go crazy if you're not used to this. All right. Just take it from us. We've been there down the road. You just want stuff you never had last week, all something this week. You just want ice cream. You want everything at 3 in the afternoon, all right? So listen, uh, it is our wisdom that we have learned over the years. If you're taking medication and it requires food, you have to do that, all right? Because it's about uh, obedience, but it's also about being a good steward, okay? So we don't want nobody sick. We don't want nobody uh, going through different changes. So uh, do what you need to do. This means that you will need to select another time or select something that you're going to refrain from. The idea and the point is, is that you give the Lord some time this week out of the ordinary. Is that right? Amen. Out of the ordinary, okay, of what you normally would do. Some of y'all may refrain from television this week, okay? If you're taking medication, refrain from a social network or gossiping or talking on the phone, all right? You can still gossip through texting, amen. You just, child, you heard, know what I heard today, right? <laughs> so we want to lay all that aside. It's a time of dedication to the Lord, all right? And one week out of the year, uh, we used to do it for 30 days, but uh, the Lord has saw it fit that we would do it for seven days and pray each night. So those who are going to be uh, a part of that, we pray that you get your word out, touch heaven, amen, believe God. God has great things for us this year. Amen. He has great, great things for us this year. And I'm believing God for a great, I'm in agreement with the elders. Amen. We just believe in God for a great breakthrough for your life, for the life of the ministry. And we just certainly uh, know that God's going to come through with that. So uh, just keep those announcements in mind. And uh, we will uh, continue to seek God. So that means Bible school is starting the following week. All right. Those of you who are attending Bible school. And so we just want you to know that, all right? But how's everybody doing today, all right? Amen. The Lord is good to you. Why don't you give the Lord a praise, amen? One more time of thanksgiving. Come on, of thanksgiving. This is the will of God concerning us. Amen. Thanksgiving that is due to his name. So we're going to believe God today through the word of the Lord. We're going to go through several scriptures and believe God to just minister to you about this hour and this season and this time that we are living in, I believe it is very important for us to know. Uh, the scripture says, he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches, all right? And so that is very, very important uh, for us to know. So we're going to uh, look into uh, the word of God briefly here, amen, and believe God through prayer that he will speak to us. Yes, Lord, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, somebody just begin to worship the Lord with us today. Amen. Just begin to worship the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We just praise you. We thank you for your word. Thank you for your promises that are yes. And in you, amen. We thank you, Father, for your unspeakable gift. We pray you would breathe on each and every one. We pray you would touch them, Father, from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. We pray today that you would encourage hearts, uplift minds and spirits. In the name of Jesus, breathe on this vessel of clay to minister forth your holy word. We worship you. We thank you. We praise you. We give you the glory as we participate in your moving and participate in your power and your greatness. We give you all the glory and the honor. 
We thank you today, Father, not by might or power, but by your spirit. Come on, just another moment. God, we thank you. We praise you. We give you the glory. We need you, Father, today like never before. We need your touch. We need your hand. We need your presence, God. We cannot do it without you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, look on that young person today. In the name of Jesus, touch their heart and mind. We give you praise. Father, we're looking for you to do great things. We are asking today, God, that you would bind the hand of the enemy, bind the adversary. God, look into the atmosphere. Send forth the holy angel, God, that would stand all around us, Father, and watch in the name of Jesus. Allow your Holy Spirit Spirit, to have free course and liberty in the name of Jesus. We bind up everything that is unlike you through the name of Jesus. Father, we take authority, God. We cast down the power of the enemy, Father, in the name of Jesus. We arrest the atmosphere through the name of Jesus. We call those things that be not as though they were. We declare liberty and breakthrough. We declare your promises in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We declare an atmosphere conducive for your glory. God, we give you all the praise and the glory. Look on that one who is heavy today, God. Lift up the hung down head and strengthen the feeble knees. Let the weak say they're strong. Let the sick say they're well. Let the poor say they are rich today. In the name of Jesus, God, we invoke your presence. We invite your power. We invite your spirit. In the name of Jesus, we call all those things that be not as though they were God. By you we run through a troop and by you we leap over walls in the name of Jesus. Not by my God and not by power God but by your spirit we clap our hands God as a sign and a signal to you God that we receive your will today in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, everlasting Father, Prince of Peace today God in the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you glory. With the lifting of our voice, we shout hallelujah. Oh, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Touch that one today, God, that needs you. Father, in the name of Jesus, El Kamarandiosa, we give you praise, God. We give you the glory. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you praise. Come on now, people of God. Ah, God, we bless you. Thank you right now in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give him glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we praise you. We thank you now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Just begin to worship him. Come on. Yes, God. Come on, just begin to worship him all over this sanctuary. Yes, God. Lifting your hands, some looking up to heaven, some bow in their hearts. Yes, Lord. There was a gentleman in the scriptures that said, scripture said that he could not even lift up his head, but he smote his breast. And he said, Lord, I'm not even worthy to lift my head, but I just give you praise. He said, Remember me, Lord, just a, a sinner, Lord, and I'm not even worthy as compared to others who were walking in their pride of life. The scripture reminds us that if we want to get anything from God, we have to participate in fellowship with his spirit. That's why the scripture declares, lift up your heads. O ye gates. Scripture declares, clap your hands, O ye people. Another place he says, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Another scripture he says, dance before the Lord. 
Isaiah says, sing unto the Lord a new song. All throughout the Bible, it required participation from the individual believer unto God. And then because of that, the king of glory will come in and fill the room. There's no moving of the spirit if there's no call to the God of your salvation. We're just sitting, wasting time. But come on, as the Bible says, why don't some lift up their hands and why don't some clap their hands and why don't some open their mouth and shout hallelujah? Come on, musicians, let's take it a little further. Come on, just begin to magnify him. Just begin to exalt him. Just begin to praise him. We give you glory. We give you glory. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. Hey, we give you glory. Hallelujah. We give you glory in this place. It come on, on no sir. Woo. We give you glory. We give you glory. Come on in this place. Come on in this place. Hey, we give you glory. Hey, we give you glory. Hey, in this place. Hey, hey we give you glory. We give you glory in this place. Hallelujah. Come on, worship him. Somebody from the rising, from the rising of the sun. To the going down of the same, we give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory in this place. Come on, somebody lift your hands right there. I feel the healing of the Lord taking place. Come on, lift your hands. We give you glory. In this place, all over Sia, we give you honor in this place. You believe in God today, lift those hands. We give you glory. We give you honor in this place. Well, hallelujah. 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 Hey. Hallelujah, 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 oh hallelujah, somebody shout hallelujah in the place, come on, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah, oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. In this place. Woo! Come on, somebody bless him in this room. You ought to bless him. You ought to give him glory. Oh, hallelujah. I hear him say, this is my song. This is my story. Now I'm praising him all the day long. This is my song. This is my story. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to give him glory. Come on, somebody. This is my song. This is my story. Now I'm going to praise him. Going to give him the glory. This is my song. This is my story. Now I'm going to praise him. Going to give him the glory. Everybody worship. This is my song. This is my story. I come to praise him. Come to give him the glory. This is my song. This is my story. Now I'm going to praise him. 
Gonna give him the glory. Come on, worship him, everybody. How many got a song and a story? Praising the Savior. Some of you haven't caught on yet. It's about participation. It's not about how you do it. It's just that you do it. It ain't about looking around. God gets the glory. He gets the honor. Praising the Savior. Giving him glory. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. You could be seated if you can. This is my song. This is my story. I'm going to praise him. Going to give him the glory. This is my song. This is my story. I'm going to praise him. Hey, hey, Cardo, see I tell you the high. Give me the oil. This is my song. Hey, this is my story. I'm going to praise him. Going to give him the glory. This is my song. This is my story. I'm going to praise him. Going to give him the glory. Hey, this is my song. Hey, this is my story. Hey, I'm going to praise him. Hey, going to give him the glory. Hey, this is my song. This is my story. I'm going to praise him. Going to give him the glory. Father, get the glory out of her life. If you get the glory out of her life. We're asking you to get the glory. Get the glory. Get the glory, Jesus. Get the glory, Jesus. Get the glory, Jesus. Get the glory, Jesus. I want you to get the glory. I want you to get the glory. Get the glory, Jesus. Get the glory, Jesus. Get the glory, Jesus. I'm asking you, Lord. She's asking you, Lord. It all see I tell you that. Let it be a turnaround. Let it be a turnaround for your glory. For your glory. Put some oil in my hand. Hallelujah. That's it. Yes. Father, if you can do anything, you can do this. What I see, if you could do anything, you can do this. Let the feeling come. Yes, Lord. Let it connect. Yes, Lord. Even as she stretched forth her hand, do it for your glory. Do it for your glory. And we'll give you praise. Wherever she's doubted, wherever she has had doubt of you, where the enemy have come to try to minister disappointment, we pray for the garment of praise, for the spirit of heaviness, the oil of joy, that it will come on her faith in the name of Jesus, that she will be quickened and made alive. Because of you, Father, we bind the adversary's voice that would try to minister doubt to her spirit and in her ear. Father, we proclaim the decree that no weapon formed shall be able to prosper. We shut off the voice of the enemy. We declare healing. We declare your touch. We declare freedom. We declare faith to arise in the name of Jesus. We will not be buried in the spirit. But if she will believe you, Father, that all things are possible to them that believe. We thank you, thank you. 
We give you praise and glory. Come on, come on, come on. Give God the praise. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. No atrophy. We don't want. Hold it. No atrophy setting in. Amen. But we want a movement. We believe you for a movement. Take down the swelling that gets in the way of the neural connections. Do it for your glory, Father. And we thank you. We give you praise. Remember her work, her labor, her strength to all the saints. Let it be a miracle of rejoicing. I ask it through your name, Father. Not for my sake, for your sake alone. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Come on, this is my song. This is my song. This is my story. I'm going to praise you. Give him praise, Joanne. Give him praise. Give him praise with the good arm. Come on, with the good arm. That's it, with the good arm. What are y'all Oh, come on. Y'all watch over us. Stay with us. This is my song. Come on, everybody. This is my story. This is my song. This is my story. This is my song. This is my story. This is my story. I'm going to praise him all the day long. Hallelujah. I want those with back trouble, if you can walk down here, amen, those of you who are having back trouble today, amen. You got something going on in your back, I'm going to get the oil, hallelujah. This is my song, this is my story. I want y'all to pray for healing while y'all out there sitting. I want God to look at this pain in your leg. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want you to touch it now. Do this. Do this. Come on up front. God's going to do something. Amen. Amen. I want you all to believe in God. You got trouble in your back. I want you to bend down as far as you can. See if you can touch your toes. Amen. Father God, we thank you for healing. If you can, watch over them altar workers, y'all. Just watch over. You don't have to go all the way. Just as far as you can with one, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. That's it. That's it. Come on up and give. lift your hands and give him praise. That's it. Come on. Come on up and give him praise. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Come on. Can you give him another one for the Holy, one for the Father, one for the Son? Come on. Can you reach down and try to touch your toes again? Father, we thank you. Yes, yes, that's all right. That's all right. We just want you to do something you haven't done, amen, in a while. Come on up and give him praise. Lift those hands and worship him. Yes, yes, yes. And this time when you went down, when you go down and try to reach your toes, when you come up, I want you to just begin to thank God for your healing and give him praise. Come on, one more time. Reach on down and see if you can touch. Amen. And that's it. That's it. Now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give him praise. Give him glory. God's going to begin to move in your body. Come on. God's going to begin to move in your body. Touch it now, Father, from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare healing, God. What they could not do that they will be able to do in the name of Jesus. Somebody need to do a little twist and a turn. Come on, little twist and a turn. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare the decree that they shall be healed, that they shall prosper, that they shall be healed. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. Somebody shout right now. Come on, give them a shout. Give them a shout. Hallelujah. Come on, people of God out there, give him a shout. Give him a shout. Pick your leg up. Put your leg down. Come on, give him a shout of glory. Yeah, come on. 
Come on, do something you couldn't do. We give God all the praise. We give God all the glory. Somebody give him a shout right now. We give you glory. Hey, we give you glory in this place. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Look at there. Look at there. Come on. That's it. Come on. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him Give him praise. You can go back rejoicing. Come on. Lifting up Jesus. Come on. Receive it. Somebody said, there you go, baby. I told you a miracle's coming. Come on. Somebody give him glory. Somebody give him honor. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. We give him praise and glory. Come on. Come on. Come on, people of God. Clap those hands, everybody. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. Got to worship God. Not for my sake, Lord. Do it for your glory. Not for me, Lord. Do it for your glory. <laughs> no, 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 no. We'll see you. We'll you. Come on, somebody take a high step. Come on, take a high step. Come on, take a high step. Come on, take a high step. Somebody get ready to run. Come on, take a high step. Come on, take a high step. Come on, take a high step. You couldn't do this last year. You couldn't do this last night. But you ought to give him praise. I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, feel the Holy Ghost moving. Yeah, Lord. Now, honey, you're going to leave here saying I was healed by the power of God. Somebody give him praise and glory in this house. Oh, 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 oh. Such a heal in the name of Jesus. Touch and heal. Yes, God. Yeah, yeah. Praise him, baby. Now listen, hold it. I don't want. Now look here. I don't want no degeneration of the disc. Yeah, man. See your toy God's gonna give you a healing. Yeah, call us here. In the name of Jesus, you ought to praise Him. Going to do it like you feel it. I know you. I know it. I know it. Come on. This woman was in pain here. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Come on, give Him glory and honor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, clap those hands, people of God. Give him praise and glory. Praise God with her. Whoa, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, that's it. When she come back around, just let her praise God right there. Hey, hallelujah. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Y'all watch over her now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch over her. Terry, go put a little oil on her. She down, she back there. Just rub it right across her head. Yeah. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Oh, yes. Yes, come on, give him glory. Brother Jewel, if you could take a little stroll.
Come on, high step it until you feel like you can run. Come on, can you do it for me, Brother Jewel? Just take a, take a few highs. Terry, walk with him. Let him come on up that aisle over there. I know those who seek out of high. Come on, take a few high steps there, sir. And just give God the praise when you get right about to this corner. Terry, I want you to just take a little stroll with him. I got to praise him. Come on, take a little stroll with him. Pick him up and put him down. Come on, that's it. Take him on down there, Terry. He got to loose these joints here. That's it. Don't be afraid there, sir. You just take it. You're just walking out. How? Oh! You're just walking out. How? Oh! You're just walking out your healing. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, God. Come on now. Give God the praise right here, sir. Hey. That's it. Praise him, sir. God's got you. Praise him how you feel him. Oh, I got to praise him. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on. We got to move. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God all the praise in this place. Yeah, yeah. You're going to feel good in a minute. <laughs> You're going to feel good in a minute. Hey. 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 I got to praise him. 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 Now, Sherry, I want you to hold Elder Bullock's hand because I don't want no arthritis in either one of your back. You hear me? Y'all going to praise God. Come on, let's get I got to praise him. 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 Hey, come on, put those hands together. We don't want no arthritis. We come against. You didn't know. You didn't know that a praise can heal your inflammation. You didn't know that a praise can loosen your joints in your body. We pray Dr. English will have a great 2020. We pray she will have more freedom this year than she ever had. But she going to need somebody to praise God for her. I got to praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Because, see, it's not about me. It's about obedience. See, I, and not for my sake, Lord. Not for my sake. But for the Lord's sake. Now... I don't know why, but Terry, I want you to go get Sister Dina. Go get your wife, because she need to take a run. Just a small little, but come on, praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. Just take her on down there, Terry. Take her on down there. That's it, that's it. What I want you to do, Dina, is just high step it. Just pick them up and high step it. Where's that oil at? That's it. That's it. Yeah, I told you I'll see you told. Terry, rub it on her back there. Yes, yes, yes. Come on round to the hip. Dina, lift your hands. What I see you told. Oh, yes, oh, yes, all in the all, yeah. When that hip is hurting, come on, hallelujah. Oh, when that pain is on you, hallelujah. Oh, no, oh, lift up. Let it be a lifting up in a potty. In the name of Jesus, let it be a lift. Dina, come on, praise him. Come on with me and praise him. 
Come on with me and praise him. Come on with me and praise him. Don't be afraid. God's got you. God's got you. God's got you. God's got you. Now give the God a good, good praise. Come on. Give God a good, good praise. 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 Devil, get off of her. Off of her body. Off of her mind. Off of her spirit. Look on her hips. Look on her legs. Look on her back. Look on her breathing. Come on, Jesus. Touch her now. In Jesus' name. Come on, give him praise. Stay with it, Terry. Stay with it, Terry. That's it. Let her praise God. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You'll be all right. I got to praise him. Yeah, I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Come on, somebody shout right now. Come on and shout right. Shout for her, Sherry. Pick him up and put her down for her. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I got to. There's a healing coming right here. I gotta praise him. Oh, I gotta praise him. Oh, oh, wow, I gotta praise him. I gotta praise him. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, come on, just have a bend over and lift up. Come on, Sister Dina, that's it. Just lift your hands, that's it. Let some air go in them lungs, hallelujah. That's it, come on, bend down a little bit. One more time, that's it, that's it. Just let a little air, come on up, come on up. Yes, yes. Oh, I got to praise it. I got to praise it. I believe, see. You see, because it's not about what you do. It's obedience to the Spirit. And in that, God makes a turnaround for you. And I tell you, there's nothing like the Holy Ghost that can touch you now. I got to praise Him. 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 All right, hold it now. Yes. Now listen, Friday, Holy Ghost, he told me to declare. He said, somebody's loved one is going to get saved. So Sister Melanie come to me this morning. Now her son don't even live around here. He called her and said, Mama, something just came over me. And I need you to help me. Because I just gave my life to Jesus. Oh, I want you to show me what to pray and what to say so I can get saved. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Y'all better give God glory. Oh, I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. Help her praise him. I got to praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. Oh, I got to praise him. Now watch this. If you believe in God for a loved one to be saved, that's a door open. The Holy Ghost said praise him right now. And God will get, come on. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. She said, she said, did you say, Lord, forgive me for my sins? She said, you got to do the whole thing. He said, hold on, I'll call you right back. He called her back. He said, Mama, I'm on my knees now. Walk me through it. Show me what to say. 
She led him through that thing. He said, I got to give God glory. I got to give God praise. I want my life to be saved. Y'all better give God glory. Listen. I got to praise him. See, listen. You don't got to be around for the Lord to have your number. When it's your time, he'll come get you, honey. He'll come see about your situation. You ought to give God praise and glory for that. Hey, I got to praise him. I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Ah, yes. All right, all right. We're going to try to get you to sit down. Amen. Let the praises of the Lord hey, soak in on you. But you ought to lift your hands while you're sitting. Yes, yes, I receive. <laughs> hey, praise him. Y'all don't know how much pain he was in. I told you, you, you don't know how much pain he was in. The man couldn't even move hardly. Oh, I got to praise him. Praise him every day. Yay! I got to praise him. I got to praise him. Now I feel his salvation in the room. I know what I see our time. Hallelujah. I believe God moves through salvation. I believe he moves through salvation. Amen. Amen. The testimony of the Lord Jesus, Revelation says, is the spirit of prophecy. Testimony of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. So the spirit of prophesying is in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. And when his testimony reach out and amen, when his gospel and his message goes out, therein it is his word to heal. The scripture said he sent his word to heal them. And he touched all them that were diseased and afflicted. And he healed their body. Come on, lift your hands in this place. Yes, yes, yes. Just lift your hands. Lord, we thank you. Each and every one. Yes, in the name of the Lord. Yes, that's it. Just continue to just, just worship the Lord in this place. Yes, we thank you. Somebody just say, I receive it. I I receive it. I receive my touch, my breakthrough. 2019 was rough, amen, but 2020 is the best year of your life. Come on, somebody just glorify him. We've all been through something together as a body of Christ, but Lord, we receive your touch, your breakthrough, your miracle, your miracle hand. I'm asking the Lord, amen, to do something, amen. Sister Rosa, you talk to your son a while. Somebody get Sister Rosa, is he good? Is he okay? All right. We believe in God for his salvation, you hear me? We believe God for his salvation, amen. You've got him covered, but we believe in God for his salvation, we give God praise and the glory. This is my song. This is my story. Come on, Isaac. Now I'm going to praise him. Praise him. Going to give him the glory. Praise him, man. This is my song. Worship him. This is my story. Now I'm going to praise him. Hey, going to give him the glory. This is my song. You got a great story, man. Thank you. you got a great story. God wants to do a lot of things in your life. Touch and heal your heart. Touch and heal your mind. Restore your spirit. Give you the joy Hallelujah. of your salvation. Yeah. Give you the joy hey. of your salvation. Strengthen with all might by your spirit after the inner man that Christ may dwell 
in his heart by faith, that he being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth, the length, the depth, and the height, and to know the love of God which passes knowledge. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, to know the love of God. Hallelujah, which passes knowledge that he might be filled with all the fullness of God. We bind the adversary's devices. Break open his heart. Your core. I know. Break that sense. I know, Sia. You should be dead. You should not be here. But the Lord has given you a second chance at life. Worship God the rest of your life. Come on, give him worship. Worship how you feel him, sir. Worship how you feel him. That's it, that's it, that's it. Let the tears flow down. Let the tears flow down. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let salvation come to you. May your salvation come to you. I feel salvation in the room. For this cause, I bow my knees unto God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, by whom we have received like precious faith, that by these we might be made partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust, Salvation be your portion in the days of your life. That the struggles on your mind be broken in the name of Jesus. That even as you bow your knee to God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord says, surely this day I have called you for such a time as this. If you only can give your life and only can see the plan that I have for you, your life will never be the same. And I will raise you up in the last days and I will cause you to hear my words. Father, we thank you for the life of this man. I pray in the name of Jesus that he will know you in a great and a marvelous way. Worship him. Give him glory and honor. You've been selected by God. Come on, somebody give him glory. Come on, we give you glory. I told you I feel salvation in a room. We give you glory. Oh, we give you glory. Y'all better worship God. I feel the Holy Ghost moving. You, we give you glory. We give you glory. There's a worship coming in the room. Lift those hands, all you people. We give you glory. There's a high worship coming. We give you glory. Hey, in this place. 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 Worship God. Yes, 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 yes. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. You guys, you guys been through a whole lot here. You see, <laughs> she with you, she, she's with you. It's your wife, yeah, hold her hand, just hold her hand there. God bless you. Y'all just visiting today. Amen, amen. We want God to do something. You got a great story over your lives, a great testimony. You really shouldn't be here. Really, your lives, I'm talking about your very life. Amen. But the Lord has preserved you and kept you for such a time as this, you hear? There's a great spirit of worship on your life, a great spirit of presence of God on your life. You've been wanting God for a long time. Yes, he won't touch and heal your heart. Watch this. Watch this. She been through a lot because of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
She's been through a lot, sticking it out with you, you know? But this is y'all's day. You hear? Let her lift her hands. Lift your hands, baby. Come on, lift both your hands. Come on, stand on your feet. It's not about what you do now. It's about what you can be. Father, we break every habit. We break every habit, every habit in their life in the name of Jesus that will cause them to miss out on you in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray, Father, that from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet, that your worship will melt her heart like wax. That your worship will melt her heart like wax. Lift your hands. What I see to your last Give them deliverance. Give them freedom. Give them freedom. What y'all do, y'all do together. Y'all do together. Yeah, yeah. She did. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. That's right. y'all begin to pray for them. Father, we thank you. You consider yourself saved. Yeah, you consider yourself washed in his blood. You died a few times. I see that. The grace of God is all over your life. Yeah, yeah. Come on, somebody give God the glory. Begin to worship God for them. Y'all come with me. Y'all come with me. Let's get that oil.
testimony of the Lord Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I'm looking at I'm looking at where you live. Could be better. Could be better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a, that environment? Yeah, yeah. God wants to move you and shift you. You hear? You hear? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I get that. I want to believe God for that, all right? Yeah. This man said he started using drugs at 10 years old, 79. He didn't stop till 2006. Don't tell me when God have a plan for you. Yeah, come on. You ready to live better? You lift your hands. You ready to live better? Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, bless him. Bless him so he can live better than what he ever lived. So he can share his story with peace. In the name of Jesus, I pray a financial blessing be upon you. I pray, Father, that he might be able to move, Father, and live in peace, God. I pray that you will raise him up. I pray that he will be a great caretaker, a great husband. I pray a great man of God will come forth out of his spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise and glory that as you lift him up to a greater quality, and it's like that the Holy Ghost come on him in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God be upon him now in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, I praise you. I give you glory in the name of Jesus. Hey, we give you praise and glory. Come on, you ought to praise God, men of God. You ought to give God glory. Come on, somebody, and bless him. Bless him in this house. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Y'all get ready to have different, you hear me? Y'all get ready to have different, you understand me? She wanted, I don't know what you're talking about. She wanted, y'all ready to have something different. Amen. Amen. You hear what I say? The grace of God, the favor of God be upon you. Amen. The dreams and the plans that you have in your spirit. Amen. God's going to ensure that these things begin to come to pass in your life. Come on and give us your testimony here. When God starts blessing you, come on back and visit us. Give us your testimony of what great things God can do. Y'all get ready to reach a lot of people. Come on, y'all. Give him praise and glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Yay! Praise God with him, Terry. Let's believe God. Praise God with him. Yes. 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 Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Listen. This is 2020. This may be just what he want to do, all right? Okay? Let's lift your hands. Amen. Now, Acts 2 and 17, just keep worshiping the Lord. Acts 2 and 17 says that, uh, and it shall come to pass in the last days. Saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. I'm going to give you a word here. But this 2020 here, Lord said to me, he said, I'm going to unlock the dream of the dreamers. The dream of the dreamers. I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to go in this direction. I see something that I want to go after. For this business, this idea, I want to go to school, thinking about going to college. I got a, something in my spirit I've been intending to do. He says, I'm unlocking the dream of the dreamer. In this hour and this season, 2020 has brought an open door to unlock the dream of the dreamer. I highly 
an unusual prophetic year. Now watch this. If you can see it, you can have it. Come on, somebody give him praise. If you can see it. Hey, if you can see it, you can have it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And this person going to praise right here, so you better go get your wife. But I see a house in your future and in your future. You ought to give God praise for that. God, hey, hey, he's going to unlock the dream of the dreamer as a dream of yours. She said, I want to live in this place and want to go there. I want to be financially free and stable. Lord said, that day is coming. You're going to be able to walk in there. When you walk in the door, y'all going to praise him. Because you know it's going to be nobody but God who did it. Lord is, hey, unlocking the dream of the dreamer. Y'all need to come here. Come on, come on. Just come from behind there. Come on from behind there. Testimony of the Lord Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. The testimony of the Lord Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Y'all, y'all trying to have another child? Y'all all right? Ah. Ah. <laughs> Grab her by the hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be another miracle. And when you move, he's going to put a child in there beyond him. I'll tell y'all, don't see our time. You come on under your seat. How can this be? Mary said, seeing I know not a man. Her question was, Lord, you know my situation. I can't, ain't no way I'm going to go through that again. But you can't tell God what to do. Amen. And you can dream it. If you want it, the door is open. In the name of Jesus. This here is victory right here. This here is victory right here. This here is victory right here. You're going to walk in. God's going to establish your feet. The ground beneath you will never shake again. When the Lord brings you to this new season and this place in your life that I'm looking at, the ground beneath you will never shake. Your people in New York are going to be amazed at what God can do because they thought it was only going to happen for you when you were there. They didn't believe that when you moved, God was going to do it in your life. But the Lord have called you to be a testimony and a witness of what great things he can do to a faithful man, a man who puts his trust in God and listens to the ear, has an ear to the voice of his wife. For Father, the Lord said to you in the name of the Lord Jesus that you will come into a time and a season where the ground beneath you will be stable, that there will be no longer frustration, doubt, and fear. You fear of losing things. You fear that the devil will take your finances, take your money. You will not be able to survive. We cancel that in the name of the Lord Jesus, that as long as you give, as long as you sow, as long as you believe God, the doors that will be open in your life, no Nobody will ever be able to close them. And watch this. You don't know nobody nothing. You don't know no no we'll see. You don't know nobody nothing, honey. Hallelujah. This thing is gonna happen quicker than y'all think. Quicker than y'all think. 
keep being a good steward quicker than you often. When the time is coming to your heart to go get alone, the Lord's going to be walking already ahead of you. This is already a fixed thing. Y'all hear what I say? It's already a fixed thing. Be a good steward. I don't know why I see more to y'all too than little man right there. <laughs> we don't often know how God's going to He added to my family. I didn't know how he was going to do it. But God's going to bless y'all. God's going to bless y'all. God's going to bless y'all. Come on, somebody rejoice with them. Amen. The testimony of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy. Amen. Come on, somebody give him glory. We give you glory. If, if they say, if they say, it's like, a, it's like a new apartment for them that I've been seeing. Amen. If they say, we didn't have a scripture today. He said, Acts 2 and 17. That was our scripture. Amen. That was our scripture. Amen. Because you know what, my daughter, my girl, sometimes, you know, you got to take this time. Amen. To, 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 to help some people. Amen. To try to reach them. You know, minister to them. Lives is coming up. It's going to be greater. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Because this is our song. And this is our story. We're praising the Savior. We're giving him glory. Amen. For what great things God is going to do in your life. Come on, let's give God the praise and glory. Come on, hallelujah. Testimony of the Lord. In the spirit of prophecy. He says, so listen, watch this. Dreams of the dreamer. It's going to be open, amen, this year, amen, dream of the dreamer. It's going to be open. So don't hesitate about what you want to do for God this year. We're giving him the glory. Go on. Go on and do it. This is a year of execution. We got to do the thing. Amen. We, this is the year. We got to go ahead on and put it in action, put it in play, all right? So those of you who are going to school, those of you who are going to college, you're thinking about getting your degrees and certificates going to get that because there's an economic flow that's going to come as a result of the upgrade in your life and God's going to do great things behind that so it's just not an empty schooling but you're going to see the benefit of what God's going to do behind that because you have to give him glory and honor he's looking to bring his people up come on somebody give God praise and glory he's looking to bring his people up Highly prophetic year, and I'm closing. Amen. So Acts 2 and 17 is the last day outpouring. And also you can read uh, 1 Timothy 4 and 1. So listen, I want to give you this, and I'm going to be done. There, At the same time, just a little softly there, at the same time that there is a great outpouring of God's spirit, running parallel with that, is a spirit of apostasy. That means turning away from revealed truth. That means people are going to yet be leaving the church, yet be walking away from God while God is doing a great outpouring. Because two things he said in the last days, the last days shall come to pass, I will pour out my spirit. Paul says also in the last days that men shall depart from the faith. So don't be discouraged at people leaving God because while they're leaving, God is going to be falling like rain on his people. Amen. He's going to be falling like rain. So listen, salvation is coming to your house. We believe God for salvation. So God's going to be pouring out his spirit at the same time. And so we believe in God. I want to give you this word and I'll let you go on 12, 14, 19. That was last year. I often keep a journal of what I believe the Lord is saying what the Spirit says to the churches. And uh, I just asked the Lord, I said, Lord, what time will this be? Everything that he gives you, you just, you're not privileged to give it away, you know, right away. And so um, on that day when I was seeking God, he said, trouble, trouble, trouble over the horizon. This was the 14th of December. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, 
I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Fear not, little flock, for there be with you more than be with the enemy. Remember, upon the rock I will build a church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Even the next shootings that will hurt this country deeply. But while that is occurring, a revival will be present to heal the heart as more and more chaos begins to take place. This was on the 14th of December. And as I see now with the war in Iran looming and with the high stakes that are being involved now, that this country is on great high alert in many metropolitan cities. The Lord said, trouble, trouble, trouble will be upon the land. In the midst of great chaos, there's going to be great revival. Come on, somebody give God the praise and glory. Come on, come on, give God praise and glory. All right? Y'all receive that? There's going to be a great revival. So listen, he told me also, fear not, little flock. For I'm with you. There be more with you than it is with the enemy. So even if we go over there, we come out of there, all right? Because God's been had a plan for certain nations over there. So all this just playing out is part of God's plan, okay? I know we got a different type of guy in the White House, but it's God's house. He sets up one king and bring down another. That's a God's business. Y'all understand? All right? So it's going to be a lot of trouble in the land, all right? You want to keep your children covered under the blood of Jesus Christ, all right? This year, you don't want to be just going everywhere you feel like going. You have to pray about that thing, all right? Because that high alert is serious. I know some of y'all don't think the news and all that. Listen, I'm telling you about where the Holy Ghost, all right? We're going to have to pray and stay covered under his blood, and we're going to have to enjoy Jesus while we're doing it, all right? Okay, y'all give God the praise and glory. Is that good? All right? All right, we're going to let you go. Got to do one more thing here. And also, we want to pray uh, for one another, and particularly, this will be very, very important, all right? Because when you start to seek God, this, this hour and this season here, this is what God is doing. You're going to have to go after that, okay? You're not going to just be able to sit back and have it all come to you. You're going to have to do something different to go after God, to let him know that you're real. And you mean business. And all those who come after, you come after him, he coming after you. All right? And he's going to ensure that you are on the right side of this. All right? Because he's meaning to bless his people this year. All right? So 2020 is not a cliche. It's not just because we got 2020 vision. Okay? That, please don't think that's a cliche. All right? All right? Because you got double vision, but also you got testing at the same time. 20 and 20 is 40. 40 is the number of testing in the Bible. So although we're going to have great prophetic vision, there's going to be great testing in the land. The Lord's getting ready to test people. He's testing nations. He's testing churches to see if, come on, if we are real or not. So there's going to be a great shaking. Amen. So while we are in a prophetic season and things is going to be happening, yet God's going to be testing those, all right, to see if they really mean him or not. All right? So let's keep that in prayer. Keep our bishop in prayer, our, our loved ones in prayer. Come on, give God the praise and glory. Come on, you can do better than that. Let's bless God. Let's bless God. Let's praise God. Amen. Come on, let's give God the glory. Somebody give God all the praise. Give God all the glory. Looking for miracles, looking for God to do great things. I'm telling you, in six months, somebody in here going to be different. I'm telling you, just, I'm just, all it's going to take is about, he said, just six months, and I'm going to shift your life. Amen. You don't need to receive that. Amen. I really kept feeling that when I was praying for uh, Selena and Joe. Amen. I know what God's going to do, but I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you, give, give God six months. God's going to do some great things for your life. Listen, what I want you to do, give God the best praise that you have. Amen. Yes, that's it. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Give you glory. Hallelujah. Reach over and tell somebody, it's my year, it's my year, it's my time. It's my year, it's my time. It's my season, hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. I'm praying that God will give my son favor. Amen. He's already had to go to Iraq one time. 